Let's learn how to do masking in PicMonkey. Masking is putting an image inside a shape or text, and it's easier than you might think. We're going to make this Instagram post in this tutorial, so follow along. Click on a blank canvas to get started. Now that you're in the editor, you can start from scratch, or you can browse our existing Instagram templates to modify, or just to get some inspiration. You can preview any of our templates by clicking on it, and then you can see it larger in the canvas. You can preview as many as you like, but note that once you make an edit to a template, you'll need to start over. I think we're going to go back to our blank canvas and start masking. So let's add some graphics. Head to graphics on the left tool tab and choose what you want to use. We're going to go with basic shapes. Add the shapes to your canvas by clicking on them and arrange however you want your final design to look. We're going to mask over three different shapes for our design. Once you've got them arranged, it's time to add the photos. Start your mask by selecting the shape that you want to put the picture in. So we're going to start with the bottom rectangle. Now you want to go to textures, add your own texture, and then choose where your photo is that you want to add. We're going to look at stock photos. We could browse or we could just search. We're looking for gold, gold leaf. So we're going to go with this one and you can see now it's masked inside of our shape. We can adjust it using the tools, um, fade, saturation, we can change the size or rotate it and position it with our cursor. When we, when we like how it looks, you can click apply. Now let's move on to masking over multiple shapes. This works the exact same way as masking over a single shape, only you multi-select the objects that you want to apply your texture to in order to complete your mask. So whatever single picture you apply will be spread out over your multiple shapes. We're going to grab ours from Hub by going to add a texture. There's our picture and bam, there it is spread across two of our shapes. So the same tools are available to use on multi shapes. We're going to position it a little differently so her head doesn't look like it's cut off. And then click apply. Okay, now let's learn about applying a text mask. Start by going to text on the left tool tabs. Then click add text. And from the text palette, select the font and the size, adjust the spacing, and type the words that you want to mask. Now we're ready to add our mask. Head over to textures, you know it well by now. Add your own texture, and then select where you want to grab your texture from. We're heading back to stock photos and searching for gold, something to match the leaf. So we're going to use the same photo, and we've applied it across our text and we're going to increase the size of it just for sort of a different textured look. You can shift it around by grabbing it with your cursor on the canvas, and then of course when you're done, click apply. We will add one more text element in another font that pairs nicely with the one we've already used. So get everything arranged how you want it to look before you finish off your file and download it. Before you export it, why don't you give your file a unique name? Click on the title in the top nav bar, type in the title of your post, and then you can also select the hub folder where you want it to live. We're going to put ours in the Instagram folder because this baby is ready for Instagram. And that's how you do masking in PicMonkey. Thanks for watching.